Hey, welcome to the guide. I'm Yo. And I'm Will. The new improved Will. Yeah. 2.0, yeah. It's Will 2.0. <laughs> welcome to our weekly update. I uh, got some interesting things to cover this week. Uh, let's start off uh, briefly with Ghost Recon. We just finished up a review of that. Right, the new Ghost Recon out for uh, multiple systems. Yep. And, uh,. In a nutshell, yeah. we're both pretty pleased with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you, how did you feel it compared to the other shooters available today? Yeah, you know, I felt that it was a, a refreshing change from yeah. the other shooters that have been out there because there's just been so many Call of Duty releases that's mm. the, the same thing kind of over and yep. over again, and then. Uh, it, it took good aspects of those. It, it, I think it borrowed from Call of Duty, it from did. Battlefield, it and did. from Gears of War. Mm -hmm. It put yeah. all those good shooter games and combined them with, with a little bit more strategy and, uh, I don't know, realistic gameplay, I think. It, it's, a, it's a more methodical, strategic type shooter. Definitely. Uh, tactics are important, so if you're into that, you're going to love this game. Uh, you can read our full review, of course, at GameAndMovieGuide.com. Now, there's a lot of movie news this week. Yeah, uh, we got our second uh, Snow White uh, movie coming out this weekend. You know, it was interesting because we had Mirror Mirror, which came out earlier this year, starring right. Julia Roberts, and now we have um, Snow White and the Huntsman with uh, Chris Hemsworth and Kristen Stewart uh, from Twilight fame coming out. And because of these two movies, Disney was also developing their own new version of a Snow White story and they stopped development on it oh. because there's already been two Snow White movies this year. I think two's already maybe too much. <laughs> well, uh, Mirror Mirror was interesting because it was like a Princess Bride version of the Snow White story. Right. And, and very enjoyable because of that. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. And now this next version is going to take a bit more of a darker Tone. Well, uh, after seeing it, my first, the only thing I could think of after I saw it was if J.R.R. Tolkien ever had a nightmare about Snow White, <laughs> this is what it would look like. It is a dark and twisted tale. Well, that, that's pretty intriguing, though. I it would, is. I'm, I would kind of like to see uh, Tolkien's nightmare. <laughs> well, you know, and, and the frustrating thing is it is intriguing. There's a lot of intriguing ideas presented in this movie, but they're yeah. not really fleshed out as well as they could uh. be. It's, it's rough in patches, but there's also places where you can see a little brilliance shine through. It is a very unique take on it. Um, it and it's also, uh, at times, a very feminist take on it. But the problem there, again, is they introduce these ideas, but then they don't really develop them out. So, like, why yeah. bother doing this kind of dark, feministic take on Snow White if you're not really going to follow through and fully develop those themes and ideas? Uh, it is a dark and twisted tale of Snow White. Yeah. Just because Snow White's in the title does not make it kid-friendly. I want to make that, <laughs> that very clear. Uh, you can read all about our impressions from Snow White and the Huntsman, uh, which is coming out this weekend. We got the full written review where we go into this in a lot more detail uh, at GameAndMovieGuide.com. Now, the other thing that was kind of an interesting development movie-wise was mm -hmm. what was happening with G.I. Joe, yes. because that was supposed to come out in June. And it's been pushed back to next year. Uh, next year! May 29th, 2013. It was supposed to be out June 29th of this year. They pushed it back almost a full year for some very interesting reasons. Um, one of those being 3D, right? Yeah, they want to convert it to 3D because that plays better overseas. Nah. Um, and I'm thinking, does it really take a full year to convert something to 3D? But then the other interesting thing that developed was as they did some early screeners and audiences weren't reacting well to the movie, mm -hmm. part of it was because Channing Tatum, who plays Duke, isn't in the movie very much. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you uh, already know this if you've seen the trailer, right. he pretty much dies at the beginning. <laughs> And this upsets people, and so He's they're a pivotal character. Yeah, they're going back to film some new scenes because what was the impression they got from audiences is there needed to be a better development of the friendship between The Rock's character mm -hmm. uh, uh, as Roadblock and Channing Tatum. They wanted more of that development before Duke gets offed and then The Rock takes over the franchise. So they are going back and filming additional scenes. This seems like a mess to me. So anyway, yeah, if you're excited for G.I. Joe, I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait until next year before that one comes wah, out. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all we had for this week. However, next week is going to be very busy as E3 hits mm -hmm. and lots of big news coming out uh, from all three major... There's rumors now that perhaps 2013 we'll see the PlayStation 4. So hopefully that rumor will be confirmed or denied one way or the other at E3. Uh, what are you looking forward to from uh, E3? I'm looking forward to seeing what Microsoft is going to mm. do because I have no idea where they're going to go, what they're if they're... 
even going to find something to replace the 360 or just keep adding on to the 360 like right. they've been doing, which I think the 360 is great, but it's it's getting up there in its lifespan. Yeah, it and really is. I'm I'm not really wowed by the Connect features that they keep throwing out Never there. Never really so delivered. I, I would like to see something new from, from Microsoft because they're completely capable. Yeah. And uh, Nintendo, I would like to see them getting involved in a little bit more games and variety. I releasing. want some firm idea of what the Wii U is going to cost. Yeah. Uh, how it's going to work with games. Like, why is that iPad-like controller? Why is that going to be cool? Right. I need to see all that working together in some, like you said, AAA titles. Some big games. Mario, uh, Metroid. Yeah. Pikmin 3. You know, show me what it can do. No more demos. Right. Give me some specific details. Just how powerful is this console? Mm -hmm. What's the online features going to be like? And of course, price is going to be a big thing. So that's what we're looking forward to from E3. And we'll keep you up to date with all of that stuff as it develops uh, during uh, that whole week. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I you wish we were there. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think about that too much. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can, anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can ahead. follow us along on uh, this E3 coverage, all that at GameMovieGuide.com. And you can also uh, keep up and share some of your thoughts as uh, you know news develops at Facebook.com slash GameMovieGuide or keep up with us on Google+, Twitter, and all the rest. And also look for more on the movies and games that we've talked about with our friends at HollywoodJesus.com.